Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do the drapey cowl and this is a really easy one. I will tell you the patent's metallic has been discontinued but you may find it on the shelves today. What I'm going to be substituting today is Karen Simply Soft and this is a really really simple cowl. So let's go through what you're going to be getting into today. So the cowl is made up of 90 chains. So we're gonna go 90 in a revolution. It's a complete round. And then we're going to do some trebles. So you're gonna do some trebles. You see the long stitches just like you see here. And then it's three rows of single crochet and then one thing of trebles again. And you keep repeating the pattern until this gets to 15 inches tall. Really quite an easy way. So when the model's wearing it, it looks like it's kind of twisted and stuff. It's just because it's kind of folding over and she's kind of holding it. So it's actually a one piece unit and there's no infinity twist to it and it's really quite amazing. So without further ado let's grab your five millimeter size H crochet hook today and let's begin to make the drapey cowl together. So let's begin. We're gonna start off with the slip knot and I wanna show you a little trick. Uh, so let's chain 10 first and then I'll show you my trick. So you're gonna chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Once you have your ten I want you to release it off the hook. Come back to the very beginning chain and just insert the hook on and then put this back on here. And then keep on going. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20 and go all the way to 90 and by doing this you're preventing that chain from twisting. So continue all the way to 90. For demonstration reasons I stopped at 30 but you should be at 90. You can even go bigger if you want to if you wanna make it even more generous. So once you get your 90 done just yarning over pulling it through and through. The nice thing about this one is that you don't need to worry about any multiples because there's no multiples involved. To start off in the very first one we're going to chain up one and in the back hump of the chain I want you to place in single crochets. And I want you to do that all the way around. So one single crochet in the back hump of every one of the chains going around and I'll see you at the end of this revolution. So as you come back around you gotta make sure that this is not twisting in any weird way. So we're gonna just take a look in just a moment. So we're just gonna finish off all the way around. And I got one left. The nice thing about it there's no multiple so you really can't screw this up. So it would, it's almost a beginner level. Um, I'm not sure. It's beginner. It is a beginner level. So what you wanna do is that you want to pull it out and make sure that it's not twisting. So if it looks like one's like this then you know there's a twist. So make sure it's completely flat like a fan belt of a car. I want you to slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet and pull through and through and then that's done. So the next rounds two all the way through five are going to be repeat until you get to your 15 inches. So let's start off with the first one. We're going to chain four that counts as a treble. Okay and that's a treble T-R-E-B-L-E -E, treble and we, you're gonna come to the next one. So to do a treble you wrap the hook twice and then into the stitch pull through, pull through two and two and two. And you do that all the way around. So wrap twice into the next stitch, pull through and then you have four loops on the hook. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Let's do it again. So wrap twice, stitch, pull through, pull through two and two and two. So wrap twice and keep doing that all the way around and you're making trebles and do that and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm continuing all the way around. Of course you will have a little bit bigger in order to do this. So it really provides a really beautiful look almost like train tracks really. And then you come into that last one. So if, if you're new to crochet you're gonna think to yourself oh there's another stitch available and there's not. So see how it, this one is leaning over into this. That's, that's the same stitch. So you wanna make sure that you end the one before. So when you're done just single crochet to the top of that first one. Sorry just slip stitch and pull through and through and then that closes it off. Now when you're new to crochet their slip stitch is usually always obvious. It's not something that you can hide completely and uh, you will always see it in the project. Uh, here's, do you see it there? So as an experienced crocheter you kind of see it. So let's continue. The next three rounds are all single crochet. So chain up one and in the same one just single crochet in 
to the single crochet just going in, go to the next one, pull through, pull through two and uh, keep on going. So next, pull through, pull through two. And you keep doing that all the way around. So single crochet. So you're gonna do three rounds of single crochet and then you're going to do another round of trebles and you keep doing that until you get to your 15 inches. So let's meet you at the end of this round. When you get all the way back around, remember that this one is where you started. So right where I am is the last one. So don't accidentally go into this one here. That's where you did the joining. So just go to the first single crochet, yarning over through and through and that's a slip stitch and you brought it together. See how that's kinda hidden more now that you've done that? So you're gonna do another row of that, another round. So just chain up one and in the same one I want you to single crochet and then just keep on progressing so each stitch gets a single crochet once again all the way around. So please do that and see me at the end. Coming back around you're single crocheting right to the very end and then we're back to where we had started. So here's the join. So this one is part of that first one. So don't uh, accidentally put anything in there and just go into the first one, pull through and through. See, nice and closed. So you're gonna do one more round of that. So chain up one going into the same one and you're going to single crochet once again. So three rounds of single crochet and then you return back to the pattern for um, the treble is going again. So here's the thing. When you're going to crochet this, um, it says to end after 15 uh, inches. It says to repeat rounds um, two through five. So that means that the ending of your cowl will end up being these last three rows, rounds of uh, single crochets. So the trebles never end up on the outside of the edging. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. So it's just a really kind of an easy pattern to be able to follow. It's one of those ones that you can talk with friends and, and stuff. You don't have to worry about counting at all because it's just one single. There's no multiples involved in this one at all. So just continuing all the way around. Just uh, single crocheting. And then when you get to the end, here's the last one, join it. So when you go to start the next one uh, up again, the next one is now going to be trebles all over again. So you chain up three which counts as a treble. So chain up four, one, two, three, four and then wrap twice and then advancing to the next stitch, pull through two, two and two. So wrap twice, next stitch and do that. So this is the repeat pattern. So you'll do the trebles and then three more rounds of single crochet, trebles, three more rounds of single crochet and end when it's 15 inches tall and then you're good to go. To finish off a project, uh, if you're new to crochet, what you're just going to do is you'll end on the ending of the three and then you're just going to just snip your yarn, leaving it enough for a tapestry needle. You could weave it in with the hook but then the hook never really keeps it in place. So just place the remaining strand onto a tapestry needle. This should be part of your yarn collection stuff. And then just sink it in and behind. So we're looking at the good side of the project from this point of view. So sink it in be from behind and go across one direction. So once, coming back, twice, keeping on the inside and go back a third time. And you're going to do that with your starting strands as well. Make sure that you hide those. You can trim it right down to the project that will never fall out and then you'll go back and do the, this one as well. So that's it for now. This is how you're going to do this project and uh, it's really quite simple. It's called the Drapey Cowl and it's a free pattern available from yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.